Hello everyone, this is Abhina. So in this video, I am going to tell you about how to practice problems on CodeSafe. So in CodeSafe, lots of problems are present. In CodeSafe, every month there are so many contests held where you can practice, where you can participate to practice problems to improve your problem solving skills. So in this video, our main focus is on how to practice problems on CodeSafe. Okay, so here is the practice section. You can check out the practice section. Here it is the practice problem section. You can go towards it. So here, this is the practice section of CodeSafe. You can practice problems here. Fine. You can see that there, there are three sections. One is all practice problems, means the practice problems, all the practice problems which are present in CodeSafe. This is recent contest pro problems, means the, the contests which are held recently. For example, here it is written uh, start. 36 means the problems of starters 36 is there, which is who is taller or seven chapters like this. Here is your to do list. You can also add problems to your to do list. If you see that, yeah, this is a very good problem. I have to revise it later or I have to solve this problem later. You can save it to your to do list. It will, it will tell you, have you attended or have you not attempted your saved problem. Fine. So now the main section is all practice problem where you can practice problems. You can practice problems randomly to increase your, to improve your problem solving ability. So here are some features also given to us. Okay. The first feature is your problem rating. It will show problems of your difficulty. Okay. For example, because I am a five star coder. So here it is written five star. So it is rec recommending me the five star rated problems, which are good for me, which are of my difficulty or, or above my difficulty. If you are, for example, a two star coder, so maybe you have to uh, practice for the two, adva two star advanced problems or you have to practice for three star beginner level problems. Okay, so I will ch check the three star beginner level problems here. So you can see all the three star beginner level problems here. There are around 125 problems. You can practice that. Same here you can get how many problems have you attempted. Fine. Yeah, this is. So this is what how we can do. We can also solve problems on the basis of topics and tags. For example, I have to solve problems of binary search. So I will just click binary search. Then all the problems of binary search are here. Yeah. Or for example, if I have to solve by tag, I have to just click, uh, for example, algorithms. So all the problems written on algorithms are there. Okay. So this is how you can also filter your search. You can just solve problems in the target. Which, for example, if you, if you want to practice problems of basic programming, arrays, string, math, you can solve topic wise here also. For example, your, your sorting is very weak. So you can just select the sorting and you can solve for the sorting problems. This is how you can practice. So this is how you can practice on code set. So let's pick a problem. For example, I have picked this chef and cakes. Okay. Then yeah, this is a problem open for you. Fine. So you can easily read the problem statement. You can then check the input and output part, how you have to take input, how you have to output your answer. You can check for constraint for sample output and then you can easily submit your problem. This is how you can do. Okay. So this is how you can practice problems on code set. You can also move towards the discussion part to check that what are the discussions related to this problem. If you have any, having any doubt, you can check for other solution. Also, you can check for your past solution. You can check for successful solutions. Okay. So that for example, I'm not getting the solution for this problem. Then I go towards the successful solution. I will check the solution for this user. So yeah, this is the solution for your user. I can check for here. I can learn from, from this that what is the mistake I am doing. Okay, so this is how you can practice problems on CodeSafe. So if this video is helpful for you, please like the video, comment helpful and subscribe the channel. Thank you.